Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking determine if the vector v 3 5 in the span of 1 2 3 4. So let's check it. So to do this one what I have to do is first of all I have to arrange this in a column. Let's say 1 2 and uh, if I multiply by x and plus this one 3 now let's say y and multiply by 3 over 4 then if, if I equate this one to this one 3 5 so if I if I solve for this one and if I get an answer that mean uh, if I can solve this that mean this is uh, in the span of this vector in the span so let's do this so to do this I have to create this e create the equations first so I'm doing the first one equation so I have to simply multiply this these things so first of all I can create equation x plus 3y equal to 3 the second equation I can so we create by multiplying the bottom so it's going to be 2x plus 4y equal to 5 now I can bring the matrix form it's going to be 1 3 2 4 and on the other side we have 3 5 now let's eliminate this one so to eliminate this one I can uh, multiply the first equation by negative 2 and add it to the second equation so negative 2 r1 plus r2 will give us 0 right here then if I multiply this one by negative 2 this is going to be negative 6 plus 4 is going to be negative 2 then here negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6 plus 5 is going to be negative 1 this is going to be same then uh, I can simplify this one by dividing it by negative 2 so if I divide that one by negative 2 this is going to be 1 3 3 then 0 is going to be 1 then if I divide this by negative 2 it's going to be 1 over 2 now I can uh, eliminate this one so one so I'm 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 doing the ghost Jordan right so whatever the value uh, values below below the pivot and above the pivot should be zero that's why I'm making this one zero so this is going to be minus 3 r2 plus r1 if I do that this will become zero so then minus 3 times half is going to be negative 1.5 negative 1.5 plus 3 is going to be positive 1.5 we can write it as 3 by 2 then 0 1 half so we have a solution x is equal to 3 by 2 y is equal to half therefore we can say therefore v is in the span so that's the answer for the first question the second question is the same question like same kind of question uh, determine if the v is in the span we have to solve this so in this case I have to do the same thing 1 1 1 multiply by x plus 2 1 1 multiply by y equal to 5 4 4 and if I can create three equations so x plus 2 y equal to 5 x plus y equal to 4 then we have x plus the third also x plus y is equal to 4 now I have to bring this into uh, matrix form is going to be 1, 2, 5, 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 4. If you see second and third are same, th same thing, I can eliminate one of them by multiplying one of them by negative, negative and adding to the other one. So 1, 2, 5, 1, 1, 4. If I multiply the second one by negative, so negative R2 plus R3 is going to give us 0, 0, 0. Now I can bring this one to cost Jordan. To do that, I have to eliminate. I have to make this one zeros. To do that, I can. I have to. I can multiply the first one by negative one and add it to the second one. So negative r. Before I do that, let's copy this one. One, two, five. So negative r one plus r two. negative r1 plus r2 is going to give us 0 right here then uh, we are going to have negative 2 plus 1 is going to be negative 1 negative 5 plus 4 is going to be negative 1 then I can make it positive by multiplying by negative 1 1 2 0 1 5 1 so I am multiplying negative times r2 so that's give us this value now I can eliminate this one by multiplying the second equation by negative 2 and adding to the first one 
so if we do that negative 2 r 2 plus r 1 will give us 1 0 negative 2 plus 5 is going to be 3 then 0 1 1 so we have a solution for the system that's x is equal to 3 y is equal to 1 so if we have a solution that means this is this is a this vector v is in the span so we can say therefore v is in the span and that's how we do this kind of question and that's it i hope you guys like this video see you next time